Hi everyone, so this is a studio tour of my art studio and first of all I'm just giving you a quick pan round so you can have a quick look at what the room looks like. So as you walk in, the um, big tapestry is the first thing you come across and then those are my carts with my different materials and equipment on. Uh, one's my painting cart and the other one's my craft cart. Um, and I thought I'd bought two the same colour, but I accidentally didn't. So what I did is I just shuffled the, the shelves around so they're both multicoloured and match. Then there's the other door to the rest of the house and some of my artwork on the wall there. And obviously I've got lots of stuff on the walls as you go around. That's where all the snails live in those three little containers. Well, three tanks, my doll collection, set of drawers. In the middle, as you can just about see in the bottom of the frame there, I've got like a, a big armchair in the middle. Uh, and then all the rest of the stuff is placed around it. There's my desk where I do all my filming and stuff. I'll show you a closer look at that in a bit. My fire that keeps me nice and warm and the fireplace. Where I have some of my artwork. I want to put more artwork in the fireplace, but it involves getting a drill out. Uh, my altar set up and some storage on top of that cupboard there. This is my writing bureau, which has got loads of different supplies in there, art materials, that sort of thing. And it's also my growing station. So on top is where I grow um, some of my plants. So I'll show you those in a bit. My little bookcase and my box where I keep my wool. Okay, so as you walk in, this is the, one of the first things you come across. So I've got some storage boxes with random stuff in and I've got my little miniature witch's potion room that I made. Um, that was a little miniature I made not so long ago. Um, at the back is a large painting that I want to repaint from years ago. Uh, down there I've got my sander, my saw thing and like an industrial stapler thing for when I make canvases and different projects. This is my painting trolley, so it's got painting and craft trolley, so it's got some craft supplies at the top and brushes and my pencil case. And the next one down has got all my paints in, and it's all acrylic paints, varnishes, uh, colour wheel. Bottom shelf has got my cloths, uh, gloves, baby wipes, so anti-back wipes, that sort of thing. The next trolley is my craft one, so at the bottom it's all natural materials, wood, filler. Middle shelf is all resin stuff and stuff for miniatures. And the top is where I keep just a few things. This is my paint palette. Um, I use this as my paint palette because it's nice and easy to clean and it's an old frame. And I like the look of it. This is a painting. I've just got to touch up some of the background colour before it goes up on the wall. And then I've got various things in there. I've got stuff for my Dremel, things to hang pictures up. These little eye cabochons I'm going to use for some future projects, material. An embroidery thing I started when my daughter was little. And my daughter's now 21, so I will finish it eventually. <laughs> um, my little fairy home that I made. That's a miniature I did last year, is it? Yeah, last year, I think. So I've got that there. Some random thing I made with twigs my octopus monster one of my silhouette paintings and in the middle is this big tapestry and it's got fairy lights all around it so in the evening i can have fairy lights on and there's all different modes and i can have it twinkling and all sorts it's quite nice on the back of my door i've got some witch bells my bag um, my besom that i made for halloween a couple of years back and the Christmas wreath that I made because I've got nowhere else to put it or the Yule wreath I should say uh, another one of my silhouette paintings the witch's hat I made and two top hats uh, one one I bought and the other one I think I added the decoration to I can't remember now these are some little miniature display shelves that I made out of old frames from the charity shop which I did a tutorial on um, my little miniature per perfume bottle collection my little potion bottle in a frame another painting i made a model of the shelves in rick's garage from rick and morty uh, that lights up and everything and that's made out of an old frame that i turned into a box frame my monster head and um, baba yaga's house that i made 
Um, I hang that up there because it's the safest place I can keep it because it gets in the way on top of my cupboards. My planchette I made. Um, and then I've got that canvas with the stars and moon on which looks really nice at the night time. It was originally a background for Tumbledown Cottage. My Dremel, my headphones, uh, there's all my spare cables to charge various things. Over here is where I keep my 17 inch Monster High dolls because um, there's nowhere else to keep them because they don't fit in the doll cabinet. Um, Elizabeth and Claudine have got outfits on I've made, but Elis um, no, sorry. Claudine and Dracula have got outfits on I made, and then Elizabeth's in her original outfit. I have got their original outfits as well. My little beanie baby snail, incense uh, holder, my singing bowl. In here is where the big snails live. And they're currently kipping. Oh, actually, this one's awake. He's heading up to the top, probably to go to sleep, because they like to hang on the roof sometimes to sleep. I think that's Alvin. And here is, it's like a little thing that you could put your um, tablet into to attach it to the wall. I need to move that, because um, I used to have my desk there. That's where the baby snails live, and you can just about make out a baby snail there who's in the little dish having some food and Rick lives in there he's isolated at the moment because he doesn't seem to be acting well and he, he suffered really badly last time he tried to lay eggs so I'm keeping him separate various ornaments most of the ornaments I have around the house I've got around Halloween and yes that is a ceramic uh, baby doll's leg in the in the pot from another project my bag Spare bricks of the uh, cocoa fibre that I use for the snails because I've got nowhere else to keep it. And then underneath there is like my musical instruments and sewing stuff. And then in here is where I keep all my Bratz doll collection. And on the top shelf is my some of my miniatures and the dolls I've made. As well as my Monster High collection. This is my desk and I've got like a little uh, tufting uh, punch needle thing I'm making at the minute to make a little rug. Um, this, um, and on the edge, edge of my desk, you can see I've got my heat gun and my glue gun hanging. I've got all my markers in there, in my pot. Most of those are alcohol markers, cheap markers and Posca markers. And then I've got various drawing pencils and stuff at the side. This like boom arm thing, that's what I attach my iPad to when I'm doing some top down filming at my desk. Uh, which broke, so I had to fix it with my 3D pen. And these are my two studio lights. They're ESDDIs, um, and they're quite nice and bright, and they've got this like filter on to make the, the light a bit softer. Got another arm here on this side of my desk for different angles. Um, the spooky cloche that I made recently, and in this pot is like all the stuff I use more regularly, so like the stuff I'd use nearly every day is in there which is like clay tools, the favourite brushes, that sort of thing. At the back on the shelves are some of my art projects, uh, books and new sketchbooks and stuff ready to be used. And in there you can just about see my little blue demon baby that I made. On this shelf at the back that I made this shelf, I was quite proud of this, um, I've got my uh, favourite doll repaints on display. And then I've got my couple of acrylic paintings that I did um, around about Halloween last year, my Ned Ferratu puppet that I made, and then a little puppet I got from the charity shop, fire that keeps me nice and warm. You'll have to excuse the glare, it was really sunny when I filmed this. Um, those are my Halloween snow globes, which I keep out year round next to the fireplace, and in here, in this little alcove, I like to keep little mini figures, so I've got like Yoshi, Rick, some Star Wars figures, a little robot, um, a telephone box from London and then this cupboard is just like for electrical stuff and on top is where I keep my altar space in this glass dome that I made I didn't make the dome but I, made, I put the stuff together inside and my big glow in the dark moon and my Bridget's cross and here's where I keep um, tumble down cottage my tong drum my kalimba and a couple of other projects I've made um, Tumbledown Cottage is there at the minute because it's the only place big enough to store it and my masquerade mask that I made 
Down here is blank canvases and sketchbooks ready to go. So I've got lots of stuff to paint with. Ignore my carpet. I've been moving everything around. I haven't hoovered yet. This is my uh, writing bureau, which I absolutely love. I was obsessed with these as a kid. And on top is where my plants are. This is my amaryllis, which is just starting to grow. I've got in here seeds that I've planted. And the one that's growing really well at the minute is some watercress to feed the snails. I just wanted to try them with something different. This other amaryllis is still dormant. It should come back at some point. They tend to go dormant over the winter. Then I've got my terrarium I made with just stuff out the garden just to see what would happen and it's growing quite well. And my succulent and bonzo, mini bonzo tree, uh, plants, various plants and aloe vera and money plants and then this tall one which I keep forgetting the name of which has grown about two inches since I moved it onto the windowsill and here's my bromelad which is in the process of growing a new flower uh, and various little ornaments and things and then on here I've got my incense burner for one of those incense that come out the bottom so it, it, the smoke goes down like a waterfall my protection candle um, different ornaments and things and my little cac uh, cacti thing in here is where I keep all of my pagan and witchy books and uh, things, information about crystals, tarot cards, that sort of thing, candles. And it's covered up because it looks a mess. And at the bottom is where I keep all my incense sticks. And then next to that is my box with all my wool in. And there's a blanket in there that I'm, I've am i just started, um, which I should have made ages ago, um, but never got around to it. And then here are some of my paintings. I've got some of my silhouette paintings, one of my crazy bunnies. Um, below that is like a really old picture that I did with some of my OCs that I need to redo. And the large tapestry with my um, lights. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.